Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about addition of the similar fractions. Our first example, 3 fourths plus 1 fifth. I have a tutorial video about finding the LCM of numbers, so you have to check it out. I'll be posting the link on our description box below. Let's get our LCD. We'll use continuous division. What number can we divide 4 and 5? Is there a number that we can divide 4 and 5? No, except for 1. So, 4 divided by 1 is equal to 4. And then, 5 divided by 1 is equal to 5. So, our LCD is the one that inside the box. So, 1 times 4 times 5, that is 20. So, our LCD for this two denominators is 20. Now, we're ready to copy the 20. We'll put it here, 20, then 20 here. It's going to be 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5 times 3 is equal to 15. So we'll put 15 here. Next, we'll have that 20 divided by 5, that is 4, times 1 is equal to 4. And now we are ready to add because they are already similar fraction so we can just add the numerators that's 15 plus 4 is equal to 19 then we can copy our denominator which is 20 so our final answer is 19 over 20 we have another one for this case i think it is better if we do lowest terms so that it's easy for us to add these two fractions let's do the lowest term what number can we divide 6 and 15 that is 3 6 divided by 3 is 2 15 divided by 3 that's 5 what number can we divide 30 and 24 that's 6 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5 and 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4 now we can just copy the lowest terms of these two fractions. That's 2 fifths and 5 fourths. Next step is we have to get the LCD of 5 and 4. Let's have that. 5 and then 4. What number can we divide 5 and 4? I think there's nothing except for 1. So 5 divided by 1 is equal to 5. 4 divided by 1 is equal to 4. So the LCD will be inside this box that's 20 so it means our LCD here is 20 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4 times 2 is equal to 8 next 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5 times 5 is equal to 25 now we are ready to add these two fractions because they're already similar that's going to be 8 plus 25 is equal to 33 then copy the denominator which is 20 this is an example of improper fraction so we have to change it to mixed number we will erase this one first so that we will have um, space for the solving how do we change improper fraction to mixed number? You have to check my description box because I will be posting the link of that math tutorial video. We will now divide 33 by 20. How many 20 can we find in 33? Yes, 1. 1 times 20 is equal to 20. 33 minus 20, that's 13. So it means our answer will be 1 and 13 over 20 and its final answer we have another example that's 2 and 3 fourths plus 10 over 20 before we proceed to addition of these two fractions 
we can check first if there's a fraction or fractions that we can do lowest term. I am sure that 10 over 20 can still be reduced to lowest term. So what number can we divide both 10 and 20? And that is 10. Okay, 10 divided by 10, that's 1. 20 divided by 10, that's 2. So it's easy if we have the lowest terms because we can save time in solving these two fractions. So it's better if we can copy these two numbers so it's easy for us to um, solve. That's 2 and 3 fourths plus 1 half. These two fractions are dissimilar. We have to change them to similar fractions in order for us to add. So let's get the LCD of 4 and 2. What number can we divide 4 and 2? That's 2. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Is there still number that we can divide? 2 and 1? I think there's none. So it means that is already our LCD. The ones inside. We'll just multiply those numbers, the ones inside the box. So that's going to be 2 times 2 is equal to 4 times 1. That's 4. So our LCD is 4. We will just copy 2, then, then 4, then we have to copy 4 here. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1 times 3 is equal to 3. Next, 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Now we may copy the whole number 2 and then we can add our numerators 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 and then copy the denominator which is 4 is 2 and 5 fourths final answer this is not yet the final answer because a mixed fraction should compose a whole number and a proper fraction but what we have here is a whole number and an improper fraction so this is not yet um, the final answer so we need to change 5 fourths to a mixed number then we will add to the whole number 2 so we'll erase this part so that we can solve in here let us now divide 5 and 4 5 divided by 4 how many 4's are there in 5 that's 1 1 times 4 is equal to 4 then we can subtract 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 that's going to be 1 and 1 fourth so it means 5 fourths is equal to 1 and 1 fourth. So that's going to be 2 plus 1 and 1 fourth. Our answer will be 3 and 1 fourth. So that's our final answer. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!